So uh, many contractors uh, use uh, trailer mounted uh, job site offices which can be towed by a contractor's uh, vehicle. Uh, these are usually smaller uh, units and uh, used on small to medium sized uh, projects. The obvious advantage is the cost savings in hauling to and from the job site. Uh, these uh, smaller more mobile units can be accommodated on the small site more easily than mobile home types of units. Uh, site built job site offices. Some contractors uh, will build the job site office on the actual work site. Uh, they may use a prefabricated system with the panels and roof sections hauled flat on a track on a truck and uh, erected on the job site uh, the contractor also may uh, opt to uh, build a wood frame structure on the job site uh, when using a warehouse or the underground parking floors of a building uh, the contractor can build a wood frame structure and finish it like an office uh, with carpeting and uh, suspended acoustical ceilings So there, uh, there are some other facilities and factors uh, which are also considered for the uh, job site offices. One of them is the uh, dry shacks. Uh, traditionally, the contractor uh, provides a dry place for uh, construction workers to eat their lunch and a place to change their clothes. Uh, this is commonly called a dry shack. Uh, union agreements often have a provision that requires a dry shack to be furnished. The dry shack, like all other facilities on the job site, has an infinite number of types and uh, variations. A few types include a wooden, a wood framed small building. Uh, with a table and a place to store lunches a modular unit with one room a room in the job site trailer or an area in the a building near the work activities although dry shacks do not need to be uh, elaborate they should be clean have adequate light and be relatively uh, comfortable for employees tool storage the contractor normally furnishes power tools and larger tools for the work to be accomplished. These tools can include circular saws, drill motors, hammer drills, demolition hammers, laser levels, ladders, scaffoldings, concrete vibrators, pumps, serving equipment and many other to facilitate construction activities. However, these tools are subject to theft because of their mobility and high value. Tool storage then must be extremely secure because many individuals on the job site use the tools. They should be in bins and organized so that they can be quickly accessed. Sanitary facilities. Now the contractor needs to provide sanitary facilities for its employees on the job site. Normally, the general contractor provides these facilities for all individuals on the work site, including subcontractors. The contractor will want to provide drinking water, washing water, and toilet facilities for job site employees, as these are necessities. Further, current safety requirements specifically outline what facilities must be provided on the job site. Uh, drinking water is also one of the facility fresh portable fresh portable drinking water must be available on the job site to avoid uh, wasted time the water should be available at the crew's work site most contractors use uh, uh, some insulated containers equipped with a tap uh, paper cups may be provided with the containers usually attached to it. Uh, 
washing water is also one of the facility safety standards require that clean tepid wash water between 70 and 100 degrees uh, be 100 degree Fahrenheit may be provided at the construction job site. Uh, toilets. Uh, obviously, toilets are uh, necessary on the job site. They should be placed adjacent to the work area to avoid unnecessary travel time. Safety regulations require that toilets be provided at the work site and uh, and all uh, and there are some other uh, facilities such as the temporary facilities. Uh, these facilities include uh, power, water, weather protection, and heat. Uh, because building utilities uh, such as power, water, and heat are not available until the building is about two-thirds or even more complete, uh, temporary utilities are needed for construction operations. The contractor must arrange for the installation of these uh, facilities, uh, these uh, utilities, and their locations, their cost, until the owner assumes beneficial uh, occupancy. So one of that includes the temporary power. So the contractor will normally contract with the local power authority for a temporary electrical service for the job site. In many areas of the country, uh, connections to this temporary service may have to be scheduled as much as three to six months in advance. Some companies can facilitate the connection two to three weeks from the order date. Uh, temporary water. So the permanent water connection may not be made until several weeks after the project has started. So pipes and fittings have to be approved, ordered and delivered before the con connection can be made. So the tap into the water's utility main line must be scheduled similar to the power connection. Uh, temporary weather protection and uh, heat. Although temporary weather protection and heat are not necessarily job site layout considerations, they should be discussed briefly as they are important elements during the construction process. So weather protection may need to be installed during the winter weather, weather to allow the construction process to continue. A variety of methods covering the work are available, usually depending upon the severity of the weather and the type of work that remains to be done under the protection. And similarly, the temporary heat uh, within the structure under construction also needs to be planned. Many contractors uh, uh, use electric heat because of fire and ventilation considerations. So this however consumes a large amount of power and temporary service should be sized for what heat is needed. All temporary heat is uh, expensive and each method has its advantages and disadvantages. So next we will consider about uh, we will talk about the job site security. Uh, the job site uh, security has the following uh, provisions. So a secure perimeter fence secure and lock gates at night. Uh, bright yard lights at night. Uh, notify local police of the existing job site. Secure equipment in concealed storage. Uh, secure or uh, do not leave keys in the vehicles or on the job site at night. Provide uh, additional security at night such as watchman, security patrol and so on. So, uh, perimeter fencing is an important uh, component of the job site. Uh, security. So uh, the options include a rental fence. In most uh, loca uh, localities, a business uh, rent temporary fencing usually by the month or year. The fence rental includes delivery, installation and removal. A rental fencing consists of galvanized chain link fabric with temporary vertical pipes usually at 10, 10 foot 
centers. A rental fence usually does not have horizontal or bottom pipeline pipe rails. Uh, there is some um, uh, permanent uh, the other option is the permanent fence permanent fencing depend depends on the uh, specification usually it is more secure than the temporary fencing many contractors will install permanent fencing early in the project using it both for temporary and permanent fencing permanent fencing however may not be may not cover the extent of the area necessary during the construction phase in these in these cases the contractor might use a combination of the two uh, wood frame and panel fencing solid material such as uh, plywood can provide a good barrier and around the uh, site while providing a visual barrier as well uh, this can be combined with the sidewalk protection on urban sites so the municipality will have a strict guideline for the protection of pedestrians and sidewalks around the site including overhead protection uh, some additional uh, security measures uh, which can be uh, taken are uh, the size type amount and location of gates so it is important to consider the size type amount and location of the gates in the perimeter fencing uh, most uh, construction gates are uh, swinging gates but there may be site restrictions requiring sliding gates uh, the size of the delivery gates should be adequate for all delivery vehicles entering the site personal gates also will be needed for access between employee parking lots and the work site so in cases where both uh, union and non-union employees are working on the same site, separate mark dates are required for both. Separate delivery gates also may be necessary in these situations. Uh, additional security measures are uh, night watchmen. A permanent night watchman might be employed at the job site. The night watchman would need access to the telephone and other communication devices the night watchman might also be combined with the guard dog guard dog uh, may be used in the construction area to prevent intruders from coming into the area notice of a guard dog may be may need to be posted depending on the local regulations uh, security patrol private security patrols can be uh, contracted to provide a periodic patrol of job site a intrusion alarms a gate job shacks tool sheds and store buildings can be attached to security alarms that will notify a security service of intrusion the security service in turn will call the police alarm bells at the job site also can be uh, hooked to an intrusion detection system and video surveillance internet connected video surveillance can provide 24 hour observance of the job site so therefore the general uh, layout of the uh, job site should consider security aspects exterior lighting should be provided particularly at gates and other vulnerable points Next, we will consider about the uh, issues related with the access road to the sites. So proper planning of access roads to the site and within the site is essential to the efficiency of the project. The, the following uh, goals should be achieved by all of the access roads involved in the project. The, ro the roads must provide direct access to all points needing access such points would include storage areas installation areas and entries to the work site the access roads must be built solidly to withstand the loads the traffic and the weather conditions uh, the and the weather conditions during the period of use so we will continue this lecture in the next video clip